Swatch manufacturer, which is based in St. Emir, Switzerland. It is founded by Mr. August Agassiz in 1832. Logi is considered part of the Swiss Swatch conglomerate, the Swatch Group, together with Brigade, Omega, and Tiso to name a few. It is marketed as a mid-range luxury in their pyramid. The Rubin Hardglass logo, which was registered in 1889, is the oldest active registered trademark for a watch brand. The word Longin got its catchy name from a location. When Mr. Francilion headed the company, he set up its first manufacturing plant in a place known by the locals as Le Longin. A French word for long meadows. Longines has five collections in their catalog. The first one is the Elegance Collection, for people who enjoy craftsmanship and style. The second one is the Classic Collection, which is suitable for people who love excellence and timeless charm. The third one is the Watchmaking Tradition Collection, created by Merging Tradition and watchmaking expertise beyond comparison. The fourth one is the Sport Collection, designed for all sports enthusiasts. And last but not least is the Heritage Collection, watches with vintage feels. Sir Albert Einstein wore a gold version launching wristwatch in the beginning of the 1930s. It is a tunnel shape or barrel shaped watch with an inscription on the back of the case saying Professor Albert Einstein, Los Angeles, February 16, 1931. And according to the company that auctioned the said watch, it was manufactured by Longines in 1930 and was presented to the famous scientist one year later. It was auctioned last October 16, 2008 and fetched a record price of 596,000 US dollars. Sir Albert Einstein also owned a pocket watch from Longines that dates back from 1943. Since every watch that leaves Longines workshops is entered in the production records, it has been determined that the said pocket watch was finished on September 6, 1943. Some people believe that a notable watch was worn by Mr. Charles Lindbergh during his transatlantic flight on 1927. But that was a misconception. Mr. Charles Lindbergh partnered up with Longines and shared the difficulties, his experience, and the insights to develop a better navigator watch. The Lindbergh R. Engel watch first appeared in 1931, and it was based on an earlier Longines model, the Wims watch, named after Philip Van Horn Wims which Mr. Lindbergh met while visiting the USS Langley on April 1928. The Wimps watch has a significant feature, which is the rotatable central dial controlled with a second crown at the 4 o'clock position. The dial was marked in 60 equal increments to synchronize running seconds with the transmitted radio time signal. Mr. Charles Lindbergh combined the Wimps concept with the new features. The updated watch allowed the pilots to identify easily the R angle, which is a technical description of finding the longitude based on the Greenwich Mean Time. The Longines Big Eye Avigation Watch won the Best Revival Award during the 2017 Grand Prix de Horlogerie de Genève. The watch is considered part of the Heritage Collection and has a bit of unknown history. It was said that the watch was produced anywhere in the 1930s to the 70s. It began when one collector presented the watch to Longines. And with the surprise, the company didn't have any record of the piece in their archives. They thought that it may be a prototype and no one knows for sure. And apparently, Longines do like the watch and was able to create a modern reproduction out of it. And voila! the new Avigation Big Eye chronograph was born. The case is measured at 41 millimeters, and Longines has applied a nicely done brush finish to the most of the surfaces, with the exception of the thin bezel underneath the dome sapphire crystal. The lab width is measured at 20 millimeters. 
The lug to lug width is at 48.5 millimeters and it fits my 6.5 inch wrist pretty well. The case thickness is at 14.3 millimeters, which includes the dome sapphire crystal. The leather strap given is a simple brown full stitch with a signed buckle. It's quite soft and comfy on the wrist. This watch will suit any other strap as well. The case bag features a silhouette of a plane and it is a direct nod to the classic aviation styles. The large Arabic markers were applied with a bright layer of super luminova to make it luminous during the night. The movement is a launching automatic calibre L688.2 beating at 28,800 VPH or 4 Hz frequency with 27 jewels and 54 hours power reserve. The dial features three sub-dials with the rightmost being the oversized minute counter. Hence, the big eye name was derived. The large sub-dial is divided into 10 segments, which is represented in every 3 minutes. At the 9 o'clock position, we have the usual seconds markers. And at the bottom portion, we have the 12 hour measures. What I really do like about this watch is its clean design and a conversation starter watch piece. The price for this watch is valued at 2625 US dollars. The alternatives. So I will be giving two watches as alternative to the Longin Big Eye Avigation watch. The first one is from Seiko, the Seiko Chrono SSB 271P1. Though the orientation is different from Longin, it has the same vibe. The case size is measured at 45 millimeters which is quite big. The movement is quartz. It has a retail price of 375 US dollars at the time of release. The second one is from Sin. Sin is a German brand which specializes in instrumental watches. The Sin Pilot Model 356. It has a case size of 38 millimeters. The movement is an automatic base from Silita. It has a retail price at around 2200 US dollars. The Longjin Big Eye application is surely an affordable luxury chrono watch. If you want a Breguet Type XX or a Breitling IV Reference 765 1953 Re Edition, but the price is out of your league, you can opt for the Longjin instead. Thanks for watching.